Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to some more Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft. Today we're gonna continue lettering up and even though it's the end of the month, today I just felt like playing the game and I know that I'm not very high up on the ladder and whatnot, but man, sometimes, you know, sometimes you gotta just play a game because you want to, right? So, here we go guys, this is going to be um, just a couple games of me playing the Hunter Face Hunter deck. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will leave the very link, or actually I will just leave the deck list right below that like button in the description of this video. Uh, so you can have a look at it, but today we're just gonna be playing a couple of games for the fun um, And uh, yeah, like I mentioned a while back that I did want to get legend at some point in Hearthstone um, And uh, as you can see I'm currently rank 15. I'm, I'm really not doing that well And it's not, not not so much because I don't enjoy the game or I don't like playing the game It's just that there are so many awesome games out there that I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm not completely sure of which one to play It's just so many good ones uh, but either way, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So let's see. What do we do? Um, I, I freaking hate the North Shore Cleric. Like, North Shore Clerics are the most annoying cards in the world. Um, don't really have anything to deal with it. Didn't get an Undertaker turn one. I guess playing the Haunted Creeper here is alright. Maybe. Well, he's just gonna kill it and then... Well, he might kill that. Try to think right here what the best option is. I don't have a three drop, so I can't really do it. I could also silence it. I mean, is that a good- oh my god, I'm gonna do it. I don't even know if that's a good play. I don't even know if that is a good play right there, but... I mean, this thing is one of these cards that can get out of control and I have nothing to do with it. He's just gonna keep on healing and I get free card draw off of it, right? Um, did I already mention that I'm not the best player in the world? <laughs> I think I did. I think I pointed that out. Either way, guys. Uh, we should have- we should have some fun. Let's have a look. What can we do? Ooh, Arcane Golem is always pretty solid. Um, can use that to go straight for the face if I want to, but it's not really gonna be very much useful here. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to play a couple of cards here. Don't really need to kill that, but I guess I might as well. Alright. We'll just do it like this. Yeah, the thing is, he will buff, he will buff that thing up, right? Oh my god, the misplays are already happening. We're gonna have to kill that. The misplays are already happening, boys. Face Hunter, not going for face. I like where this is headed. Um, no, but we should be alright here. He's probably gonna attack one of them, then I will be able to finish him off. Um, which should still be fine. Thing is, obviously, if uh, if this goes to the later part of the game, um, priests will definitely have the upper hand. Uh, so, we'll see. Alright, there we go. Oh no, he's just gonna heal it. Alright. Well, that's the enrage gone. Uh, let's have a look. What do we do? I guess we're just gonna start steady shooting. Steady shooting is pretty useful. Boom. So basically, the idea of this deck is that I am going as much to the face as I possibly can, um, while not really trying to keep the board control. And most of the time, I'm really misplaying that uh, <laughs> quite a bit. Not gonna lie. Um, just for the fact that I I usually play all the control decks, you know. So I am I kind of you know I'm kind of used to just going straight for the control. Uh, but, you know, more often than not, that's not actually the smart way of doing it. <sighs> this is kind of tricky here. Well, I guess, I guess we'll just do it like this. It's a little bit, a little bit cheeky, but... Going for the explosive trap right there will allow me to deal a bunch of damage right as he starts attacking my face. Um, and this minion will straight up die. Doesn't really matter anyway, like, it could take out either of them just fine. Um, so I suppose this was the best play. Now we can use the double arcane golem if you really need to, which is 8 damage in total. Um, straight to the face, because they do have a charge, but I don't really want to play it yet. Because if I do, he gets 3 mana crystals, which makes it a lot more difficult. Uh, so we'll see. We don't really want him to start playing, like, the gazillion legendaries that he can have. Well, he's obviously aware that this is indeed a, um... A freezing trap or a um, explosive trap. That's alright with me though. I mean he's just he's just getting annoyed by it right now. Are you gonna play any more cards, Mr. Flood? I think you are, right? Who's going for the Thought Steal? Okay. Getting some extra card draw right there. I got a bunch of really small minions, so I'd be surprised. No circles or anything like that. Alright. This is actually quite a good card right now. 
Um, let's have a look. I'm trying to think right now whether or not I should just go play that thing. I probably just shouldn't. Um, we're just gonna go for the steady shield glaive Zuka. I'm trying to imagine here what the smartest way of doing this is. I can obviously clean that guy up. He's not gonna be able to heal it very much more though. So I think I'm just yeah, I'm just gonna go straight face. I mean, most of the time, whenever whenever I'm playing these kind of decks, I feel like I'm trading much too much. When in reality, like in these sort of situations where I can't really get very much done at all um, with any of these moves, I might as well just go straight for face. Most of the time that seems to be the smarter decision. Still have my explosive trap on me, by the way. So, alright. That's all right with me. Unless you have a circle, that would actually be kind of annoying. What are you doing? <laughs> he keeps hovering over every single card. Oh, he's going for the animal companion, which was mine. Don't do that. That's mine as well. That's my hover. But he doesn't want to attack with it because, hey, <laughs> guess what? All right. Um, so what do we do here? My opponent is currently at 15 health. We can deal 8. Um, we can deal 13. Wait, how much can we do? I can deal 8 right here, plus 2, um, which is 10. I actually just barely cannot finish him off, but I can do so next turn. So I'm just gonna go straight for face, and then next turn we'll play double arcane golem and actually finish it off that way. I mean, I probably will be able to just go straight for the steady shots to the face, face right now and likely get a victory that way as well. I don't think he's gonna be able to nuke me down because whatever happens, like this this explosive trap is still here. He doesn't even know, like, okay, yeah, okay, he kind of knows that it's an explosive trap. There's nothing else that he could really go for, but. Um, we do have eight, 10 damage next turn. Just barely don't have lethal. Are you gonna go face? Well, give me something good. That's an Emperor Cobra. That's not that impressive. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Trying to figure out here uh, what the easiest way of doing this is. Obviously, gonna steady shot here. Um, I can deal. Uh, I can do eight damage now. Eight damage is just barely not enough. So I guess I'll just play these two guys. Might as well. Might as well. Just uh, you know, not allowing him to make efficient trades. That's for sure. He's gonna lose a bunch of stuff, which is great. I, it's kind of funny actually how much that explosive trap is really bothering him right now because the explosive trap is really what is keeping me in this game All right, that's not a oh, that's actually pretty good though That's actually pretty good right there because it will allow me to finish it off a little bit later All right if I uh, if I draw no actually that doesn't matter I was gonna say if I draw into the um, into into the wolf rider I might also um, I might also get the victory but not gonna be able to get that I am ready. Um, so that's eight damage right there um, eight damage plus four is twelve plus yes fourteen so pretty much guaranteed victory next turn. I will probably also get a free uh, spare part out of this, which is pretty solid. I think he might try and just go straight for a victory himself, but... Alright, he's gonna Holy Nova it. That's too bad. Oh, come on. Ugh. This is getting kind of scary, actually. Do you think I can lose this? Better not. I can deal 10 damage, come on! <laughs> Come on! Anything at all! Anything at all would be great! Oh, I might actually lose this. I might actually lose this. I didn't think of it as an option, but... Oh, wow. Yeah, it's too bad. We are late in the game right now. He does have a lot of options. Um, that Holy Nova right there was well-timed. Hmm... Should I just play the two? I, I'll just do it. I kind of have to. I can't really, can't really do very much differently. Well, we'll see. At the very least, right now, I get a couple of chances um, of drawing him or drawing into lethal. I think if I would have just sit back more, I probably would have lost it a while back, or I, I would probably just lose it eventually. This is still probably gonna be a loss, though. 
I mean, even though he's at 3 health and I got so much, does he have lethal? He does. Wow, well played. Yeah, that's kind of uh, that's kind of silly by me. I probably should have played these guys a bunch earlier. Oh well, that was well played right there. Let's play another one. Let's play another one. I gotta have at least one victory, right? Yeah, I think I made the main misplay right there of not playing them early enough, but... The early game was kinda... I, I don't feel like... Did, did I make any major misplays during that one? I don't feel like I really did, but if I did, let me know right below the like button in the comment section, okay? Because... I, I feel like... I feel like I didn't really make very many misplays right there, but... Maybe it's just the nature of these kind of decks. Jesse Pinkman. <laughs> It's not the same guy, right? No. The previous guy was called Flood or something like that. Gonna get both of these guys out of my hands. Uh, go for the Clockwork Gnome. I really wish I would draw more into the Undertaker. Undertaker turn one would be the best thing. Greetings, traveler. But either way, we should be alright. Uh, gotta go for the Clockwork Gnome. He probably has a Priest again, a uh, Young Priestess, because... Is that? No, it's not called a Young Priestess. The, the card that actually- is it called Drunk Priest? Maybe it is. But maybe- it, I mean the card that is one mana and that does a bunch of damage early on. Um, with the healing and the card draw and whatnot. We did draw, by the way, into the Undertaker, which is great. This is a sick opener right here. Well, I wish I had her one turn earlier, I suppose, but other than that, we are- we are fine. Very good. Alright. Jesse Pinkman, show me what you're made of, sir. Like the old kinds of holy novas and whatnot, but that's okay with me. Alright, let's see. Oh, uh, Eagle Horn Bow. Don't really care enough. Oh, that's not a huffer, but... Either way, that is still fine for me. This is actually a pretty solid one as well. The other one would have actually been fine as well. Um, like... Misha, Huffer, and then the, the third one would have all... Like, they would have all been just fine. Doesn't really matter, I couldn't really go wrong with any. He's still just healing. Ooh. Getting a little bit scary, to be honest, but... Alright, we're gonna actually go for the Arcane Golem here. Um, did my opponent... My opponent does have the coin. Do you think he's gonna use... Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, we'll just steady shield it. I was gonna say, do you think he was gonna use it, but... He does... He could coin out a Holy Nova, obviously. Which would be kind of scary, but... So far, things are going fine. Just fine. I guess he wouldn't really want a Holy Nova coin out any, or like coin out a Holy Nova anyway, right? Like that wouldn't really add, like that wouldn't actually do that much. But if I had an Arcane Golem out on the board, it would still definitely be the best play. Oh, all right. What are you doing, sir? What are you doing there? Um. Yeah, we'll just go face. Keep going onwards. Did I actually have lethal? Oh, I would have had lethal. Oh yeah, I would have- oh, I missed lethal. Loco, 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 what are you doing? You had an arcane golem in hand. I mean, this is practically unlosable at this point, but... Uh, I had lethal right there. I'm probably gonna end up losing this game, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I have a- I have a certain talent for things like that. Which- which is... <laughs> No, there's no way. There's no way. Alright, there we go. Is he gonna draw himself to death? Okay, just barely not. What, what do you gotta coin out? A nurture cleric. Oh, that's what I meant, by the way. I called you a young priestess earlier on in this game. Alright, there we go. I, by the way, didn't draw into those things either in the previous game. Like, the kill commands were also not really popping up. Alright, sweet. Did manage to get a victory right there. That was a very quick game. I like that. I like the quicker games most of the time. Let's play another one. Okay, this is going to be the last game of this, uh, of this video, but... So far, it's going decently well. I feel like I didn't really play very many mistakes, though, turn... or game one. Uh, game two I missed lethal, but I guess my opponent just drew sort of horribly and we just managed to get a victory because of that. Um, and... Well, turn three, or game three, we are going to obviously win as well, right? Obviously. Apparently nobody's playing the game. Oh, there we go. Sweet. A worthy opponent. 
as it always lands on. <laughs> versus Jaina. You asked for it. Let the hunt begin. All right, no Undertaker, sadly. Um, that scientist, do you want to keep you? No. Okay, fine, you can stay. I'll play. I'll play this. I'll play it like this. Try and draw into the Undertaker. Come on, Undertaker, one time. That's not an Undertaker, but this is still alright with me. Yeah, that's still fine with me, actually. That's nice. Well oh, I meant to say greetings. Greetings, traveler. Straight into the mana worm. I don't like the mana worm. Hmm. Well, that that's that's kind of annoying right here. I'm not gonna be able to get very much done now, can I? Oh, that's actually very annoying right now. If I don't play anything turn one, I mean everything is three drops. Everything is three drops, so that's kind of annoying, right? Like, I mean, I could coin out a, a, a you know, a mad scientist, but he's just gonna kill it, ping it, and that's done. Like, it's not gonna achieve very much. Alright, this is a pretty poor opener. Guess we're gonna have to kill that thing with an Egorn bow. Do I have any other options? Could play a mad scientist right here as well, but he's just gonna attack and ping that down. Yeah, this is ah, this is all not really lining up very well. Okay, this might be a misplay here, but I mean the thing is, else I'm gonna else I'm gonna also be in trouble, right? I don't really want to be stuck under like you know. I don't I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe maybe that was a uh, was the correct play. Just not very lucky with my opener hand right there. All right, um, well, I guess the only correct play is doing it like this. Like it gonna be an ice block. Or not that, yeah, like they're gonna be an ice block. All right. So we got a little bit of a chance here, which is nice. <laughs> Gotta go Arcane Golem, Leper Gnome. Playing Arcane Golem on an open board should be should be a good play. Because I mean, you know, my opponent is gonna have a pretty hard time removing this thing. Unless he's gonna blizzard right here. Or something like that, but... You know, you get the idea. Like, usually I will be able to at least attack with that twice. Oh, snap. The Unstable Portal. It's actually a card that I don't have, I don't think. It's a pretty cool one, though. Oh, no. Arcane... Oh, it's probably gonna hit me twice. Oh, okay. Thank you, RNG. That was the first time I got lucky with RNG. <laughs> wow. Wow. That That is that is just so sweet. That was the first time I got lucky there, is what I said, but nope. Um... Warobolt. Wow. Well... Um, you can actually just buff either one, that's fine with me. Alright, that's even- that, that's the best one though, so I'll take that. Sweet. So far it's going decently well, but this game can very quickly turn around. Like, if I'm- if I'm slightly on- oh, frost bolts. Yeah, if I'm slightly unlucky, like I said, I'm- I'm gonna be- I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble. <sighs> that's exactly what I was talking about there. Well, what is that? Misha? Uh, I'm just going face. I am just going face, but I think I think this might already be game here. He doesn't have that many cards though anymore in hand, so I think it could actually go either way at this point. It could actually go either way at this point. Misha is quite a nice draw at this thing, like at this timing. Oh my god. <laughs> really? Really, dude? Did you have to do that? Just kind of mean. Ooh. 
All right. Yeah, the thing is, he still has an ice block active as well, so I'm probably gonna be a turn behind. Uh, he might have a second ice block right there in hand as well. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be too surprised if that would be the case. Oh no, it's not a secret. Maybe a mirror entity, maybe uh, the armor. Uh, I don't. I think I might not even be able to nuke him down fast enough. Is mirror entity? No, it's not. It is. Oh my god, I should have played him first. Loco, loco, loco. What are these stupid, stupid, stupid misplays? Well, yeah, I, it, it has to be an ice block, right? There's really no other options. That is definitely an ice block, so I'm... Oh my god. I gave him literally a free two attack. Like, it, I just did that. I just gave him a free one right there. That was, that was really not necessary in the slightest. Well, that's nice of him. That's very nice of him right there. He's just gonna kill himself with that. Yeah, well, one of them is gonna be an ice block. But at least he's in uh, in steady shot range, right? So we got that. Mm, that's okay. That's okay, actually. Oh, wow. Alright. Oh, what? What? It wasn't an ice block after all. Wait, what? What could that have been? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna have a look at mage secrets really quickly. What did I miss? I must have I must have missed one right there. Uh, maybe there's a new mage secret or I'm just really being silly right now. Um, a duplicate? No, it wasn't it. Iceberry wasn't it. A counter spell, maybe. Oh, that would have been it. Yeah, that would have... Oh, it was a counter spell. Wow. All right, that's interesting right there that he decided to go with that one. Uh, couldn't have been a duplicate because minions died already. Um, actually, did I? No, I didn't actually attack any of his minions either. So I guess it could have been a counter spell or a duplicate. I, I, I was convinced it was an ice block. Like it makes only sense to to be having an ice block that early out, right? But he got it from the um, he got it from the um, from the um, what's the guy called? The um, Oh, you got it from the mad scientist. There we go. So, yeah. Either way, guys, I hope you had a good time. We did manage to take out a victory right there. Managed to get um, two victories and one loss in total. As always, make sure you point out my misplays if I made any major ones, which I probably did. Let's be honest here. Um, in, the, uh, in the comment section, right below that like button. And other than that, I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. I'll see you in the next one.